Forget cocoa beans and high-life music, because we're diving into the underbelly of Ghana's development. Today, we're exploring the ghost towns of grandeur, the half-built sports stadium echoing with phantom cheers, the abandoned housing project promising homes that never arrived, and the airport terminal stuck in a perpetual layover. Buckle up as we look at the failed, abandoned, or uncompleted mega-projects in Ghana. Number 7. Dodi World Imagine a Ghanaian Disneyland, a place where laughter spills from roller coasters, shrieks echo from water slides, and cultural wonders unfold around every corner. That was the vision behind Dodi World, a theme park aiming to rival the world's best. But this amusement park story took a tragic turn. Financial woes were the first villain in this real-life fairy tale. Money troubles plagued construction, leaving behind a skeletal structure like a half-built castle in the sky. Management issues added to the chaos, with conflicting visions and unclear leadership derailing progress. Dodi World, once envisioned as a beacon of fun, now stands as a silent reminder of dreams unfulfilled. So will this fairy tale ever have a happy ending? The future remains uncertain. Renewed efforts focused on securing investors and restructuring the project offer a glimmer of hope. Perhaps with a revised plan, stronger financial backing, and a touch of fairy dust, Dodi World could yet transform into the laughter-filled kingdom it was always meant to be. Number 6. Jhana International Airlines Imagine boarding a plane emblazoned with the Ghanaian flag soaring towards new horizons. That was the promise of Ghana International Airlines, aiming to connect the nation to Africa and the world. But this ambitious journey hit turbulence before reaching cruising altitude. Operational challenges were the first storm cloud on the horizon. The airline struggled to compete with established carriers, its routes often proving unprofitable. Financial mismanagement compounded the woes, with allegations of corruption further tarnishing its image. In 2010, the airline was grounded, leaving passengers stranded and employees heartbroken. Can Ghana International Airlines ever take off again? While a complete revival seems unlikely, the dream of a national carrier hasn't vanished entirely. Partnerships with established airlines or focusing on specific regional routes could be potential paths forward. Perhaps one day, the Ghanaian flag will once again grace the skies, a symbol of renewed ambition and a reminder that even grounded dreams can take flight. Number 5. Takaradi International Airport Expansion Imagine a bustling hub in Western Ghana, connecting passengers and cargo to the world. The Takaradi International Airport expansion promised just that, aiming to boost tourism and trade. But like a plane encountering unexpected headwinds, the project hit turbulence. Funding shortfalls were the first storm cloud on the horizon, delaying construction and forcing revisions to the grand plans. Acquiring suitable land also proved tricky, adding another layer of complexity. Finally, changes in government priorities shifted focus towards other infrastructure projects, leaving the expansion partially completed, with a shorter runway and fewer facilities than initially envisioned. Will Takarali's wings ever be fully extended, not necessarily giving up on the dream? Renewed efforts focused on securing private investment and partnerships could provide the financial boost needed. Streamlining land acquisition processes and aligning the project with current development priorities could also help get the expansion back on track. By navigating these hurdles, Takaradi International Airport could yet become the thriving gateway to Western Jhana it was meant to be. Number 4. Oraki's Cocoa Processing Factory Ghana, the land of rich, dark chocolate, envisioned the Oraki's Cocoa Processing Factory as a game-changer. This state-of-the-art facility aimed to add value to its cocoa exports by processing beans into finished products. But like a cocoa pod succumbing to disease, the project faced its own challenges. Construction delays were the first sign of trouble, stretching timelines and inflating costs. Technical challenges also emerged, hindering the smooth operation of the processing machinery. Finally, financial constraints forced a significant scaling back of the project, leaving its processing capacity far below the initial ambitious goals. Is there still hope for a sweeter ending for the Orakis factory? Absolutely! Collaborations with experienced cocoa processors and technology providers could offer the technical expertise needed. Addressing financial constraints through innovative financing models and public-private partnerships could also be the key to unlocking the factory's full potential. By overcoming these hurdles, Orakis could finally fulfill its promise of transforming Ghana's cocoa beans into delicious treats enjoyed worldwide. Number 3. Why Hydroelectric Power Plant 
Imagine harnessing the mighty Black Volta River to generate clean, renewable energy for Ghana. The Bai Hydroelectric Power Plant promised to illuminate homes and industries, reducing reliance on fossil fuels. But like a powerful current encountering obstacles, the project faced its own environmental hurdles. Concerns about the displacement of communities living near the dam site cast a shadow over the project. The potential downstream impacts on ecosystems and livelihoods also sparked opposition from environmental groups. These concerns, coupled with construction delays and cost overruns, led to a scaled-down version of the project, generating less power than initially planned. Can the Bai hydroelectric power plants still be a beacon of sustainable energy for Ghana? The answer lies in striking a balance. Addressing the concerns of displaced communities through comprehensive resettlement programs and environmental mitigation measures is crucial. Exploring alternative energy sources to complement the dam's output could also contribute to a more sustainable future. By navigating these challenges responsibly, the Bai Hydroelectric Power Plant can still illuminate Ghana's path towards a brighter, cleaner future. Number 2. Accra Sports Stadium Renovation Imagine the roar of the crowd echoing through a gleaming Accra Sports Stadium, a beacon of Ghana's sporting spirit. This was the vision of the renovation project, promising a world-class venue for major events. But the cheers soon turned to groans. Construction delays stretched on like penalty shootouts, with accusations of corruption swirling around the project like rogue footballs. Budgetary woes became the offside trap, catching the project off guard and forcing significant scaling back. The final whistle blew on the grand vision, leaving the stadium partially renovated and falling short of international standards. Is this the final match for the Accra Sports Stadium? Not necessarily. Renewed efforts focused on transparent management, securing sustainable funding, and addressing corruption concerns could bring the game back on track. By completing the renovations to meet international standards, the Accra Sports Stadium could once again become a source of national pride and a venue for world-class sporting events. Number 1. Saglemi Housing Project Imagine rows of affordable houses, each a beacon of hope for Ghanaians yearning for a secure haven. This was the dream of the Saglemi Housing Project, promising over 5,000 homes near Accra. But the dream turned into a nightmare. Financial irregularities cast a dark shadow over the project, with accusations of mismanagement and poor construction quality plaguing it. The houses themselves lacked basic amenities like water and sanitation, becoming uninhabitable shells. Like abandoned penalty kicks, hundreds of unfinished houses stand today, a stark reminder of unfulfilled promises. Can the Sagemi housing project be salvaged? It's a tough call. Extensive renovations and infrastructure upgrades would be required to make the houses livable. Thorough investigations into financial irregularities and stricter quality control measures are crucial to prevent similar pitfalls. Whether the project can be revived or repurposed for another use remains to be seen, but its current state serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of transparency and accountability in development projects. So there you have it, a glimpse into some of Ghana's most fascinating failed mega-projects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more unique content and hit that end screen to see another video playing right now.